It's not uncommon to connect a computer to a TV and use it as part of an entertainment or media setup. Behind me you can see my website in a standard desktop browser which you'd usually expect to find in on a, a normal computer monitor in a normal desktop operating system. This of course is not a normal computer monitor, this is my projector, that's why I'm orange right now. The, the camera doesn't really like the projector. Anyway, if I was going to be using this um, as part of my entertainment setup, obviously, I do use the projector for watching TV, playing video games, things like that. But if I was to connect my Mac to my projector, as I've done now, surfing the internet with an interface like this, maybe just with a mouse or some other single pointing device, would be somewhat of a challenge. Therefore, I would use a web browser such as Kylo. K Y L O. Um, it was the topic. Looks like Henkel's messing around. Kylo.tv is where you can download this web browser from. It's specifically designed to be used with a TV. If you have, obviously, a computer connected to it. Um, maybe in your living room for example where you probably wouldn't be using a keyboard all of the time and of course the TV would be quite a distance away from you so a standard web browser's interface wouldn't be too easy to see and interact with. So this is kind of like the home screen for Kylo. We get various buttons to take us to different websites. Most websites just display normally. I'm going to show you YouTube. Hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit better if I turn that off. So YouTube has quite a nice interface in Kylo to make it much easier to find videos and navigate around. The, there you go, there's the topic back. <laughs> so you can see there quite a different interface and also the background black so the contrast is quite um, good, uh, better for using a TV. Um, no, that doesn't make any difference. It is hard for you to see, but it is very clear for me from this point of view. So, if I was to click in the search bar at the top, we get an on-screen keyboard, which is really nice. And then I could go ahead and slowly input letter by letter um, my YouTube username, Jake TV, and search for one of my videos. And as you can see, if it loads this time, it's it's one of my recent videos on YouTube. Right, that one seems to be broken. I did get one to play earlier. Kylo s seems to have still a few bugs in it. YouTube videos do generally work though, trust me. <coughs> Anyway, maybe we'll come back to that. Let me just show you a bit of the, the interface of Kylo. So, at the bottom, obviously, the buttons are very large, easy to see um, and use from, like, ac across a room. So, we've got the standard back, forward, refresh, and home button, which would obviously take us back to this home screen that we saw earlier. We've all, we can also set up favourites, just like any standard web browser. I'm going to turn this back on so you can actually see me. We can use have multiple windows or tabs, I suppose, if you want to, which, whichever you want to call them. Um, so you can have more than one window open at the same time. There's an on the keyboard to open a button, sorry, to open the on-screen keyboard at any time if we need to input text into some field on a web page. Obviously, you can still use a keyboard if you have one various settings so you can choose how Kylo um, behaves <laughs> and obviously the the address bar which again brings up the on-screen keyboard so it is a really n nice web browser to use as part of a media or entertainment setup Obviously, you wouldn't want to use this as your main web browser, because as you can see, there are problems with Kylo, and the interface 
isn't as um, smooth um, as it should be. You see that there is a video that w would play. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't like mine, which is quite unfortunate. If I just go back to the home page, so Kylo.tv is where you can download this for yourself. It's free to download. It's cross-platform, I believe, as well. I'm just using the Mac version just to demonstrate this, but it it does work. Um, it's an interface you'd expect to see on a TV. Much better to use than something like Safari or Firefox. There's room for improvement there for the the people behind Kylo, but hope surely with time, um, hopefully it will improve. But certainly for a free browser um, to use, maybe just with a mouse or however else you would navigate around using the cursor, it, it is much easier to use than a, a normal interface you'd get with a browser because obviously they are not designed to be used with something like this. This of course would work if whatever I connected my computer to, my projector was the, the best option for this video. I apologize that it's not as easy to see, but you can go ahead and download Kylo for yourself. Try it out. That's uh, Again, it's, there we've got the, the topic back. You've probably noticed it keeps changing, thanks to my <coughs> wonderful moderators in the chat. That chat, of course, can be found at jakewright.net. Um, as you saw earlier, <laughs> that's what you'll find at jakewright.net. This is, of course, my blog, the live video stream, and the chat. Thanks for watching.